Hello everyone, welcome to RPA Learners. And in this video, we're going to uh, learn how we can how to create an Excel file using Robocop. And if you haven't watched uh, the previous two videos about Robocop, and we discussed about the basic code structure uh, that you need to understand before actually uh, seeing this video, just go ahead and see that video about the basic code structure of how we do it in Robocop, and then come to this video. So let's go ahead and open robocop now and um, this is a project that i already created so here uh, we have the robot called create excel robot and let's see how uh, we can create a new excel here we in this uh, we have four different structures which is setting where we need to import other libraries and second one is the variables and the third one is the keywords fourth one is the tasks so let's go ahead and first import the libraries which are required uh, to perform this uh, creation of excel files and first you need to type three stars then you can get the recommendations of uh, the first one is the settings where we import uh, the libraries yes it is uh, library and then you need to provide four spaces there and we are using rpa dot excels excel dot files there are two different libraries in excel which is rpa dot excel dot files and then rpa dot excel application excel dot application uh, for rpa dot excel dot files we don't need to install uh, the excel application scope uh, but for uh, rpa dot excel application we have we need to have an excel application excel instance uh, need to be triggered with that library so we are using this excel.files for now and in excel.files uh, we have uh, the legacy excel which is .xls and then .slxx it supports these two files if you want to create or they, uh, do something you can use these two files with this library .xls and .xlsx and if you want to run any macros or if you want to work with the protected worksheets in an excel then we need to use excel application excel dot application library we cannot use excel dot files library so uh, let's go ahead and uh, do the another one which is variables so we are storing the file path in that variable let's say it is the variables part here is a class and then for creating a variable use a dollar symbol there and then open and closed forward brackets provide your variable name let's say my variable name is file name and then i am providing the file name uh, let's say which is data.xlsx now i declare the file path as well and i also declare the variable so now i need to write a keyword for this let's say the keyword is creating create a new excel is my first keyword in that i am using create if you see here there is a create workbook um, method and we will use the create workbook method and we also uh, specify uh, the format the format is xlsx and the second one that we need to do is uh, we don't only create a workbook if you leave the code as it is as i am showing now it won't create a new xlsx because it won't save it so we need to save this uh, so we will use save workbook method and uh, we will provide uh, the path here uh, which is path is the variable name which is dollar file name so this is the variable which is holds data dot xlsx uh, now we created uh, our keyword so let's go ahead and uh, create the task which is tasks here now in tasks what we, need, we are doing is creating a new 
excel in that we want the first step would be create create new excel here the function create new excel so uh, i think uh, now we imported our library and we also declared the file path and then we created a function here and we called the function here so it will execute this function at the end so let's uh, go ahead and save it let's run this workflow and see it is creating uh, the data.xlsx and the saving is completed and it also completed the execution and you can check the log here if you click on this log you can check the log whether it is successful or a failure and here it is one one it is successful and then it is executed 0.195 seconds creating a new excel task the status is false and this, this is the execution and if you want to download it you can also download it from here by if you click on this download button you can save that and and uh, if i close this one you we can see the data.xlsx is created here and if you want to pass the file name uh, instead of giving the variables you can also pass that here and that's this is how you create an excel file uh, by using robocop and in the later videos we will see the different parts of uh, working with excel it is a single single video so that will be easy to understand and then we can uh, concatenate and see a will bigger use case at the end of the excel process excel uh, things so that's it for this video if you like this video give it a like if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please consider subscribing for more videos and thanks for watching